Hello everyone. This video will consist of introduction to igneous rocks followed by the hand specimen and the microscopic observation. The term igneous has been derived from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. Here we will move to the descriptions of physical properties and the optical properties of a mafic magma. We have chosen mafic magma, which will help us to understand the different textural changes with the different depth of emplacement. Let's have a quick look on the different tectonic settings which are related to magmatism. In convergent and divergent boundary, magmatism is very common. In convergent boundary, two plates come towards each other and in most cases, the heavier plate is subducted beneath the lighter plate. But in case of divergent plate boundaries, the plates move away from each other, creating magmatic ridge where the magma is continuously added to form new igneous rocks which contribute to the new ocean flows. Hence, this boundary is also termed as the spreading ridge. The magma is generated at the mantle. This magma moves upward and during this upward movement, the magma is emplaced at different depths and accordingly they can be classified into three types. First is the volcanic rock when magma reaches the earth's surface. Second is the hyperbasal rocks when magma is emplaced at shallow depths. These are called hyperbasal rocks. These lesser depths are indicative of less than one kilometers. The next is the plutonic rocks which are deep-seated igneous rocks and are formed at depths greater than 1 km. Now here we can see the hand specimen of basalt. It is mesocritic in color and it is strictly composed of fine grains as it cools quickly while crystallizing from the lava. Mineralogically it consists of pyroxene, plagioclas feldspar and glass. The common textures associated with basalt are intersubtle and intergranular. Vesicles, that is the fossil bubbles, can be observed in this hand specimen, which are formed due to drop in pressure as the magma is released at the earth's surface as lava. Amygdaloids are nothing but the vesicles which are filled by secondary minerals such as quartz. Here we can see the thin section of basalt. It is characterized by fine grains of pyroxene, plagioclase and glass. Under plain polarized light, pyroxenes are characterized by high refractive index. Glass appears as green or colorless under plain polarized light. Between cross polars, plagioclase shows distinct lath shape and zoning might also be observed. Amygdaloids are nothing but the vesicles which are filled by secondary minerals such as quartz. Pyroxene shows higher order interference color whereas glass is opaque between the cross polars. The common textures associated with basalt are the porphyritic, vitrophytic, ophitic, subophytic textures. This hyperbasal hand specimen is dolerite. As we can see, it is mesocratic in color and is composed of medium sized grains as it is emplaced at shallower depths. Mineralogically, it is composed of pyroxene, plagioclase feldspar, and opaque minerals. Both ophitic and subophitic textures are common in dolerites. In this particular hand specimen, directive textures are also observed. This thin section is of dolerite. 
its constituent grains are slightly coarser than the basalt and are essentially composed of plagioclase and pyroxene. The plagioclase grains are elongated, forming the intergranular texture. The identifying properties of the minerals such as pyroxene and plagioclase remains the same. The typical textures associated with dolerite are ophitic texture and subophitic texture. Zoning in plagioclase is also present in this. Now comes the plutonic rocks, that is gabbro. It is mesocratic in color and has coarser grain size. As we chose the mafic rocks, the mineralogy remains the same. That is, it consists of pyroxene, plagioclase feldspar, and opaque minerals. The dark colored ones are the pyroxenes, whereas the whitish ones are the plagioclase feldspar. The common texture associated with the gabbro are interlocking texture and hypidomorphic granular texture. This thin section is the plutonic equivalent of basalt. Here the grain size is the coarsest among the three varieties as deep-seated magmas take time to cool down. The essential minerals are again pyroxene and plagioclase. Here the pyroxene grains are seen surrounded by biotites which indicates the reaction between the pyroxene and the residual liquids while cooling. The common texture associated with gabbro are hypidomorphic, equigranular and the reaction textures. Thus to end with, here we will be showing pictures that shows relative variation of the grain size in hand specimens as well as the thin sections under the microscope between the cross polars.